The types of bariatric surgeries. Adjustable gastric band. Adjustable gastric band surgery involves only one weight loss mechanism, restriction. An inflatable band is placed around the upper part of the stomach to create a new stomach of less than 30 cc's or one ounce. This band is connected to a reservoir that adjusts the inflatable part of the band. Several adjustments may be necessary following surgery. This intervention requires a solid diet and the patient must be active for it to be successful. Following this procedure, the average loss of excess weight is from 30% to 50%. If you have 100 pounds to lose, you will lose about 40 pounds. In general, patients lose less weight following surgery with this procedure than with other procedures. This operation is considered to be the safest, with a very low risk of mortality at less than 1%. The risks specific to this procedure involve the reservoir, its infection or rupture, and displacement of the band, which can puncture the stomach. Gastric bypass. Gastric bypass involves two weight loss mechanisms, restriction and malabsorption. The main weight loss mechanism in this type of surgery is restrictive. The stomach is divided into two parts to create a small reservoir that will become the new stomach, which will hold 30 cc's or one ounce. The other part of the stomach remains in place, but it no longer has any contact with food. A part of the small intestine is then connected to the new stomach. Since food now takes a shortcut from the new stomach directly to the small intestine via the pylorus, a part of the small intestine is not used to absorb food. This is the malabsorptive aspect of this surgery. This procedure results in mid-range weight loss. Following the intervention, you will lose on average from 50% to 70% of your excess weight. If you are overweight by 100 pounds, for example, you'll lose about 60 pounds. The risks are considered to be moderate compared to the two other surgeries with a risk of mortality of about 1%. The risks specific to this procedure are leakage at the two connection points. Not taking supplements on a regular basis can also lead to inadequate absorption, resulting in iron deficiency or anemia, calcium deficiency, or deficiency of certain vitamins, such as vitamins B12 and D. Due to the fact that part of the stomach is no longer in contact with the esophagus and the mouth, diagnosing and treating certain stomach diseases, such as stomach ulcers, may prove difficult. This is why patients who have undergone this type of procedure will not be able to take anti-inflammatories for the rest of their lives. Biliopancreatic Derivation Biliopancreatic derivation involves two weight loss mechanisms, restriction and malabsorption. The stomach is sectioned to create a stomach in the shape of a banana. This new stomach holds about 220 cc's or 8 ounces, or a reduction of about 50% of your stomach. The other part of the stomach is removed. This is the restrictive aspect of the surgery. New connections are made with the small intestine and only half of the small intestine is used for passing food, resulting in a reduction in food absorption. This is the malabsorptive aspect and the primary weight loss mechanism in this procedure. This procedure results in maximum weight loss. Following this intervention, you will lose on average from 60% to 80% of your excess weight. If you are overweight by 100 pounds, for example, you will lose about 70 pounds. This procedure carries the highest risks compared to the others, with a risk of mortality of about 1.5%. The risks specific to this procedure are leakage at the two connection points 
and the consequences of significant malabsorption. This generally involves an iron deficiency or anemia, a calcium deficiency, or a deficiency of certain vitamins such as vitamins B12 and D. In addition, certain patients can also have serious problems absorbing proteins, even if they take their supplements and must be treated with forced feeding or have an additional operation to reduce malabsorption. Laparoscopic surgery. All of these procedures are performed by laparoscopic surgery under general anesthesia, which allows surgeons to operate on internal organs without opening the abdomen. This technique involves five to eight small incisions or cuts of one to two centimeters in length. These incisions enable the insertion of an instrument equipped with a lens and strong light, as well as other instruments required for the operation, into the abdomen. This instrument is connected to a television camera that allows surgeons to see the inside of the abdomen on a screen. The abdomen is inflated using carbon dioxide to help the surgeon see and work better. Preparing for surgery. Several consultations will be required prior to your surgery. The number depending on your health condition. You will meet with an internist, a gastroenterologist and an anesthesiologist. You may also need to meet with other specialists. Your appointments will be scheduled by the preparation clinic nurses or the surgeon. You will also need to have several tests and blood work so the surgeon and other physicians consulted can properly evaluate your condition prior to your operation.